Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm Ken Christo and I'm joined by the wonderful Adaway, who's up here in Estonia. Hello there. We are, uh, sorry, by Adaway of course I mean host underscore computer. And uh, we're going to be playing as Iconic. Poland and Estonia. And we're going to see what we can do to hold out against the Germans and the Soviets. We had our previous game. If you haven't watched that, you should watch that first, probably, because that's us getting to grips with the supply system. Hungary and Turkey. It was a bit of a disaster, because it was like all of Western Europe and America's the war on me simultaneously. But onwards and upwards to greater things, my brothers. So I think I'm going to go... Yeah, I think I'm going to go Hohenzollern. Okay. But I'm just looking, like, can I get more countries another way? Because I should leave, like, the Balkan... Sorry, the Baltics to you, really. Yeah, all three Baltic nations I can get really easily. I get yeah. cores on all of it as well. So whereas, so I could go Hohenzollern, which gives me Romania. Or I could go Habsburg. Which gets me... Uh, trust in the West. Poland seeks to join the Allies. No. I can potentially get Czechoslovakia. Well, I'd rather get Romania than Czechoslovakia, because Czechoslovakia is obviously going to make it way more likely I'm going to have to fight Germany early. Yeah. It does let me get Hungary, though. I think we'll restore the chins. <laughs> um, I think, yes, I'm going to start with the four-year plan, because it gives you 10% construction speed for... Four years or something mad. I'm also going to delete all these guys. Okay, I'm ready to pause. I'm not. Outrageous. Yeah. Who else is this for? Uh, Crypto is recording it for his uh, YouTube channel, Abraxicus. Which is why he does the. Uh, the uh, why I did a trips. full on intro. The full good on intro. YouTubes. The good yep. of the YouTubes. Um, There's loyal Christo fans who, who love the 74 videos at once. Look. <laughs> Enough of your cheek. <laughs> what I like about it is that you did that and like, so the 1,000 people unsubscribed, which means like 16,000 people theoretically went, yep, this is fine. <laughs> I, I, I enjoy having I'm here for this. videos yeah. in, at one, point, one time in my sub feed. Yeah, absolutely. Men of culture who needed the tons of episodes of uh, Divinity Original Sin. <laughs> I have unpaused. Huzzah! The four divisions of the Estonian army are ready with my 900 gun deficit and lack of, and lack of steel and two civilian factories. Because so many of my generals are old guard. It's nicht geht. It's okay. I get a bunch of factories from my focuses. Like I get, like my second industry gives me five sieves. That's kind of insane. It's five. Like five sieves from my second. That's focus. stronger and than then, like the German focuses. And then I can get, and then I can get to a military focus that gives me five, five mils in about three focuses. It's pretty nice. It's pretty. It's pretty stonks. So in terms of the actual conflicts, I'm gonna do. There's the Hungarian, that's right, there's the Romanian one, which I just do via an internal coup thing. Then I annex them, and then I demand Slovenia from Czechoslovakia. Okay. But for that, I need 500,000 men in the field. The best, the best bit about this as well is that um, Latvia and Lithuania have the same industry focus tree as me. So if they do their uh, focus yeah. as well, they also get five civs in their, in their <laughs> state, and then I annex them. Sexy. Yeah. It's pretty, it's pretty pog. Bom, bom, bom. Okay. So what's the game plan here? Who can you get in like via invites? As soon as I form a... Oh, hang on. I can... I can restore Poland-Hungary. Nice. Oh, cool. Back in the day. The good old uh, Anjou personal union. So yeah, I can get Mizzlemore, which will create a faction. And then with that, I can invite... I can invite everyone in... Yeah, I can invite all of the Scandinavians and Yugoslavia and Greece and Italy and yeah, a bunch of people. Mm. So we'll see how many of these little miners we can get in helping out. 
Well, I'm going. I'm going. I intend to annex Finland, Sweden, and Norway. Sure. And and Denmark. And Latvia and Lithuania. And Latvia and Lithuania. Just like give yourself a really nice big front with the Soviets. Yeah, of course. So we better work on some. Oh, some the Soviets naval railway stuff. is so vulnerable in the in uh, Karelia, North. <laughs> One rail. Oh line yeah! To Christ, just cut it in the south because that's where you want to push to anywhere, anyway, yeah. rather. And it would take them so long to build a, like a reach around. Oh yeah, that's, that's brilliant. Got to make sure I don't let this oh, yeah. looming peasant strike fire. We could uh, do on speed five because this. I mean, yeah, that's fine. I, I have. Not a huge amount to do until yeah. um, I mean the focus I'm doing now gives me like on map decisions to promote fascism in my country. Cool. And then I can uh, start infanting Finland. I'll do that. But like literally, like, I've got I've got a focus here called the Vapsid Youth, which gives me recruit population two percent immediately. <laughs> uh, this this is like OG hoy focus. <laughs> I need to take these two focuses. Like the difference between this and the Turkish tree is just massive, and how mm. and how how readily it gives you nice stuff. The only thing I don't like about, well, there's several things, but one of the things I don't like about Intel is it's so hard to see other people's focuses. Yeah. I really want to see what they're up to over there. You just find out from the news from the news articles. Yeah, but I want to know ahead of time. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if Journey. So Journey. We'll know if they're going civil war. Oh, they go, they're going civil war. <laughs> <laughs> Seems that way. Okay, so that's interesting. That will shake things up again. But what well, makes things a bit easier for us. Because Imperial does, yeah. Germany just doesn't have the same uh, impetus to war with Poland. They do have an impetus, but they, they do, yeah. but it's it's not it's not as strong. No. Like 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 Hitler Germany is on is basically on rails to to, to, yeah. to kill Poland. Yum, bum, 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 bum. God, I'm gaining so little political power because of this uh, darn situation. Oh well. Will help. Yeah, the April Constitution is not helping either. And yeah, I have an embargoed economy because freaking. Fat, apparently, there was like Nazi activity in Danzig. Quite like the. Rejoin the railways focus gives me not railways. It gives me for infrastructure. <laughs> that seems like something they should address. There's there's some similar ones with that where uh, there's some focuses at the moment that require 10 infrastructure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but 10 infrastructure does not exist anymore. But they're known bugs. Paradox, by the way, I don't know if any of you chat or, or viewers or YouTubers have been on the Paradox bug forums recently, the Hoi bug forums. But they're uh, they're really good now. Like they mark known bug, like on it backlog. Here's a workaround. They're way yeah. more active now. And you know why that is? Because the freaking community teams taking over the forums. <laughs> I think. Yeah, it was eight, it was ages ago. They announced it. Did they? Yeah. <laughs> I genuinely, I genuinely didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. The uh, it's like. I'm pretty I'm sure they announced it. I hope they did. <laughs> I can't remember. No, I, I, I couldn't have heard that internally because it happened after I left. So. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you left like two years ago. So yeah. It definitely, definitely didn't happen. I was worrying for a second there. <laughs> Still got a long time since till the strikes kick in. Is concentrated still best? Um, mm. Let's get these two done. I think so. Yes, no, concentrated no. is best. It's better uh, as long as you don't switch an individual factory I'm, for 400 I'm days. Be, the I'm going to be constantly switch, constantly bringing new factories online, which is which is not the same thing. So uh, no, get, no, it isn't. Get, when the new it factory, is. when you get a new factory, if you're going yeah. to be assigning it to something for 400 days, then it's better. But I mean, it's only better after 400 days, I think. So it's a uh, now or later kind of thing. Mm, Do yeah, I? No, I'm, I'm gonna go, I'll go just first this time. I won't concentrate before. 
Might need to change the title. Oh yeah, I can change the stream title. We're no longer the sick men of Europe. We're the small men of Europe. Um, how do I change the stream title? <laughs> Go on Twitch. <laughs> Dashboard.twitch.tv. I was on. I was trying to do it through Streamlabs. I mean, you probably can do that, but it's all right, chat. I'm on it. I am a professional streamer. <laughs> Give me a noble bureaucrat. Edit Five stability and yes. political power. Nice. Do, do, do. National Spain declared war on Spain. Interesting. What a shock. That is a shocking revelation. Absolutely. I've never I've never before heard of a Spanish Civil War happening. So when does the um Soviet Civil War trigger? Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Like there's three more civs. Three more civs. That you you are getting a lot up there. <laughs> like I've got, I've just got five. This focus thing gives me three more civs. I do two more focuses and get five mils. Mm. One more, another focus gives me two more mills, <laughs> and then and then literally two focuses later, there's five more, <laughs> there's six more. That's a little insane. Estonia. Strong. In fairness, I'm complaining. I'm gonna get Romania, which has, you know, like twenty factories. I'm being asked to sign a non-Russian pact by a chair. <laughs> Correct. With a crown on it. Respect the crown. Someone needs to like get like um, some diplomacy between uh, this Poland and <laughs> Poland government UK. Yeah. <laughs> Overwhelming fascist march in Estonia. Give me, give me docus, docking rights. You're damn right, it's an overwhelming march. Hey, Wilhelm II and Franz Josef of Austria have declared a new kingdom, the Kingdom of Poland. Mm -hmm. King Michael the First. Welcome, welcome, King Michael. Ah, this, this is this is literally the Romanian guy. It's the Romanian, uh, yeah, the one that comes after the current guy. If once King Carol gets gets the boot. Oh, so now do you, now do you have to like assassinate King Carol? I have to do a coup, which ah, okay. results in a civil war. And I have a bunch of decisions to send them out like infantry equipment and use political power to speed it along. Ooh. It is rather. Do, do, I don't do, want to do the march on Tallinn do. just yet. I want to do mills. And uh, Chad had a good point, which is that dispersed might be more. Ooh, Otto has assumed the Hungarian crown. Maybe I should have gone Habsburg. Hmm. Anyway, um, yeah, with this, with bombing becoming more prevalent, maybe dispersed would be better. Uh, yeah, if they're, if they're targeting your kind of indirectly country. buffed because of the the fact that there's going to be more people with bombing around. Just you know, yeah, even if they're not always targeting your factories. Oh yeah, there's a bug at the moment. By the way, um, you don't station armies in a province where you also have a fleet stationed, because then the armies won't get. Any supply from the supply network, only local supply. All oh, right. Yeah. Known, known bug. Oh, my manpower is so bad. I have a core man, a core population of one million. One million. That's pretty bad. One million. There are not, there are not many, uh, not many Estonians around. I have, I have thirty-two. Oh, by the way, one of the, one of these people has like a. A focus that is predicated on them having a huge Catholic population, and apparently someone looked it up, and the Catholic population of the country at the time was like three thousand. <laughs> What's the known bug? If you have a fleet stationed in a province and you put an army in the province, then they don't get anything from the local supply hub or something like that, basically. Oh, I should set up my supply, my uh, spy agency. Yeah, I'm holding off because I, I need these sieves. Well, I, I'm, it's only because I, I may have to bully Finland into being fascist. Right, which yeah. Will, which will require some jiggery pokery with the <laughs> uh, espionage system. Oh, by the way, I, uh, you know the 
what's the name of the guy? Bede or something? Who wrote the Anglo-Saxon Chronicle? Oh, shit. Sorry, excuse my language. I'm gonna I mean... get, I'm gonna get agrarian strikes. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Crap. Not agrarian strikes. I don't um... know what it actually does. Activates mission. Oh, fudge. That's so bad. I really shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I thought I had. I thought I had already taken the full railway gaps focus. Bollocks. Well, I guess we'll get to experience what this does. Yeah, who's the guy that wrote the Anglo-Saxon Chronicle? I mean, I mean, various people wrote the Anglo-Saxon Chronicle. It who's was the main uh, dude. I mean, wasn't there a main dude? No, the, the bead lived, lived like a hundred years before it was written. Oh really? Yeah, the Anglo-Saxon Chronicle was was um Peasant's was commissioned by Alfred the Great. Oh, cool. Well, I visited Bede's uh, tomb at the weekend. Oh, right. Was it, was, was it, was it empty? I did didn't look inside. Did <laughs> Jesus come again? I didn't, uh, I didn't peek inside. All right. So this, this peasant strike thing now, in order to actually get rid... What do I do to get rid of it? Oh, Jesus Christ. If I don't complete this in 130 days, I get a civil war. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Well, it's just going to be a temporary, a minor temporary problem with this 50% construction speed and factory output debuffs. Oh, civil war in uh, Lithuania. Let's go speed three, four. This is a little crazy. Yeah, this is, this is madness right now. <laughs> um, got the sound. The new sound when you switch tabs in the tech tree, it's pretty, it's pretty hardcore. <laughs> okay. Right. So, Finland is 10% fascist. I need him to be 40% fascist. That's going to take a while. If he, if he, yeah, if he isn't do actually doing the fascist tree, then it will take, it will take some time. We have a problem. What's that? Lithuania is now a puppet of the Soviet Union. Wait, what? <laughs> the Lithuanian Independent SSR is a uh, a communist puppet of the Soviet Union. Uh, F? which seems bad. <laughs> but, they're, but, they're, but they're weak. They're, they're weaker than the other guys. Are they? They're winning. They have. Well, they don't have volunteers. I need to. I need to intervene. How can I intervene? I, they won't even let me send an attaché. They are a bit oh, weaker. Lend lease. Send attaché. Well, it's really expensive to send attaché though. I mean, they fucking choosing the communist path. That's really inconvenient. I'm gonna send an attaché so I can steal some army experience from the Spanish. I think. I can't believe I let the blooming strike fire. I'm such a muppet. They are stronger, but a bunch of their guys are in the south. Although, if they walk into the capital, this cavil, this uh, artillery unit. I send you 1,000 guns. They're walking into the capital. If they don't defend the capital in the next two days, the Soviet side might lose. Yeah, yeah, no, I know which one gets rid of it. I just, uh... <laughs> yes! No, that's the wrong one. Oh, no, it isn't! Yes! It's, it's the right one. Sexy. Lithuania lives to be later annexed by me. That is, that is very good news. Wait, wait. No, no, modified lend lease. Cancel lend lease. You don't need my guns anymore. Cancel. And so, right, just have to, one gun. Back up to speed five. <laughs> Things have calmed down a bit. So the Soviets don't seem to have had their civil war. They're going the anti-Soviet thinking band and all this stuff. Ground-based training. The NKVD has inf initiated an inspection on the Air Force and following the instructions of agents assigned to the case, no more flights of exercises are being conducted. And there is factionalism. Lithuania's colour now has changed for no reason. They're now blue. Oh yes, they match you. Clearly, they want to. Uh, they want to yeah, it's, you. It's a sign of their, uh, their, their true love. allegiance. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. 
United Kingdom is going communist. Oh, really? They just conceded to the trade unions, which I'm pretty sure that's what that means. It seems like communist Spain wins all the time now. Yeah, I've noticed that. Show some trains. Choo-choo. Here's one. Heading heading out east somewhere. Would be just here. Yeah, just a very short train ship, that one. Is the different level... The, the different looking train tracks on the map different levels? Oh, yeah. Yes. That's I cool. think so. All right. There's peasant strikes dealt with. Invest in eastern Poland. That classic meme. Fascist support, still 10%. I'm not producing any trains or trucks yet, no. I should probably... No, sorry, we are producing some trucks, yeah. Italy announces claim on Yugoslavia. Austria votes unite with Hungary. Ugh. <laughs> and I had to fight for it. Damn, that means they're going to be able to get Czechoslovakia before me, probably. Oh, and they're probably going to buddy up with Germany. So if we want to go after them, we're going to have to go after Germany. Okay, right, so Finland's now got... That's a lot of Soviet Soviets to take. Fascist Never. ticking up. Right, you, spy. Boost ideology by 0 0.02 a day. The yes. Soviets the Soviets will be driven back. I have no fear. We could take the Soviets in the last one as well. It's just it's just when we had to fight them both at the same time it became a problem. And Italy, and Britain, and America. Yeah. And China. So the fascist side is now called the Spanish Directory. Yeah, that's the that's the standard fascist side because Carlos Spain has now has now risen up. Oh, well, we were told. Why did Carlos Spain get my attaché then? Yeah, I I had that happen before. I don't know. I don't know why because that's not. I mean, I assume for some reason they have the tag. Yeah. Weird. Oh no no no! I know why it is. Because they because Spain has gone Carlos. In their in their. Oh uh, yes 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 yes. They're launching loads of um, force attacks all over the shop at the moment. Uh, oh yes, a looted gentleman, yes please. I need to get another spy. Finland is now 17% fascist. Nice. Just gotta keep booting him and hope my agents don't get captured or otherwise incapacitated. This is fun to watch. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Abrasicus. This is fun to play. No step back is is very, very, very good. Well worth the wait. I concur. All right. Economy is doing okay. We're going to arm the monarchist militias in Romania. Yes, there's a new mechanic with like current claim strength in Romania. And then I can use factories and political power and stuff to, uh, yeah, push it, push it forwards. So Germany is monarchist. France is, we don't know. Yeah, what's France yeah. doing? France has a lot of fascist support. Oh yeah. Is that is that is that base? No, they don't start with much. Zog submits to Italy. I think that's more than base. Where's their communist support gone? They start with a bunch of communists. True, yeah, they do, don't they? So, yeah, they may be going fascist. Interesting. Interesting. Man, I have so many freaking mills, but no resources. <laughs> so, I need 80... I need 80 claim strength to make this work. I need to start a tank. I should start, I should start building tanks and motorised. And trains. Right, so it's a more it's a more steel. Unfortunately, Poland does not have very much steel, and cannot cannot provide me of what I need. No, I th I have some, <clears throat> but I have an, any, I have a uh, have embargoed economy tungsten? right now. So you have no tungsten for sale. No, I have an embargoed Big economy, cap. so I can barely export anything. All right, I'll let you off. Yeah, you're so generous. So what am I going to do after arming the militants? Probably one focus I'll have time for. Alright, 20% fascism, we're halfway there. 
Oh yeah, I should definitely do National Defense Fund. Lose 15% consumer goods factories. <clears throat> that seems wise. Okay. I've just got to try and hope, hope that it... Because the, the focus is gives Finland 0.1 fascism a day for 360 days. I hope that I can get to 40% before that runs out. It's currently going up by 0.12 because of my agent. I think that's how much. No, 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 no now 0.03. Our coverage has increased. Good. Alright, then once this finishes, I can invest in Romania. Which is 30, 50, 60, 70, and then one more. Good. I don't know, it only puts me to 20, right? Not 25. So this puts me to 35, and then I'll put it, do it once again to 50, 60, 70, and one more of this. Cool. Let me know if you need me to mess with the speed if, to your advantage, by the way. I'm just... No, if, yeah, fast is fine. I mean, I've not got, not got too much to do. Uh, cool. Right, so pro I can now do marches in Finland, but I can't do any of them until their support is... Oh, I can do it. I can, do, I can start doing some. Good, right. Where else do I need? I need to get <clears throat> this going. All right. Hello, yes. General Touche. This is a multiplayer game, but we're co-op. I am playing as Estonia, and my good friend Christo is playing as Poland. Mm -hmm. as the, uh, Michael the first. Good old Michael. Good old Michael. <clears throat> good name. Good name. Right, some decisions are available. Sway Romanian generals, but I shouldn't need to do that, right? Because this should put us to 50, sorry, 60, 70, 80. Yeah. How many meals do you have? 10. I have nine. <laughs> there Estonia goes. strong. Oh, crap. Czechoslovakia surrenders the Sudetenland. What? Ah, uh, this happened before. This happened, this happened when I was playing as Germany. Yeah, there's, there's a, a thing that makes oh. it up. The Montero. Czechs have gone the, the, like, submit to Germany route. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. And, like, before Germany... And I think it's not even... It's imperialist Germany. It's not even... Before yeah. Germany even asked for it. They're yeah, like, Germany was never going to ask for it. Please take... Please take the Sudetenland. <laughs> the That's ancient crown funny. of Bohemia can be... Uh, can just be torn, torn apart. Mm -hmm. No worries. Uh, right. Naval invasion. Tech. Make sure I do that. Can I afford to do this? I don't want that. This? No, but I will be able to. United Kingdom reverts peasant foreign policy, and the pop up just says they have gone insane. <laughs> That's funny. Um, veterans government gives me. Some people available as political advisors. But then leads on to... Oh, that leads down to my like, claims on Lithuania and Latvia. Which I, I am 30-odd days away from... Oh, crap. I left a tech. Just empty. I am pretty close to getting the Romanian Civil War to trigger. What happened to Germany? They had a civil war. Yeah, me doing Germany things. Czechoslovakia has a very bad opinion of the German Empire. Why would you give them land for no reason then? <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully Austria-Hungary demands Czechoslovakia from Germany and then they go to war with each other because right now they love each other. And that's like my only other claims were uh, are against Czechoslovakia and, and, and... Oh, there they go. They've taken the tourists of Czechoslovakia. <laughs> Oh, that's oh I may have jumped the gun on that decision. Finland's about to have a civil war. Oh yeah. Which I, I can I can intervene in it, but I only have four divisions. <laughs> um, I guess go and hang out there. The thing is, I need I need them to have um, a state with a port in it. Right. right yeah. I can land.
King Michael's coup completed. Wish my monarchists luck. They do have substantially more men, but they have a terrible supply situation. The kingdom, the provisional kingdom of Poland, Romania. Heck yeah, buddy. Uh, who am I at war with? Oh no! What happens? They don't have the the port I need them to have. Isn't Vipuria port? It's not. What? It's not. I have to go. Oh Christ! I haven't, they haven't even got the west coast. <laughs> I knew it. I, I, I pressed the, the button too quickly. I, I should have done the other, the last <laughs> march. Uh, they have 5 to 16. Oh, God. Hey, Russia, do you want to give me some military access? <laughs> they will not. <laughs> Unsurprisingly. I'm, I'm going to have to naval invade um, Helsinki. By the, but the tech isn't ready for 38 days. Ooh, Japan has gone non aligned. The Japanese shogunate. Carlos Spain has migrated into Aragon. <laughs> I'll lend at least some, some guns in the meantime, I think. Uh, Doesn't make sense. Point. The king in Romania could simply have devolved the, devolved the parliament. Yeah, but our king, the king that was being pushed in is not the uh, not the current king. It's not Carol. It's, uh, it's Michael. Uh, General Suche, yes, I was the Hoi Ford Kinney manager. Um, I left in June. But if uh, you may, if you can recognize my voice, that that'll uh, that'll probably be it. Did I tell you, by the way, I got recognized on the bus. Yeah, you told me a while back. <laughs> a while ago, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was really funny. Nice guy. Mm -hmm. All right, come on, Romania, take Bucharest. I just my. 24 days, and I so if you just hold out for 24 days, and I can naval invade the the Finns, and we'll win the war. Oh, I should have saved my points and gone. I can't go. Actually, can't actually go. More economy. The new Polish industry. So Danzig is still demilitarized. Am I having problems with like you know Nazi sentiment and stuff? The Nazis yeah. don't even control Germany. <laughs> <clears throat> I feel like that should, that should maybe get bypassed. I mean, it would, it would be a lot of the focus tree to bypass, but the fact I'm going to have to like ban Nazism <laughs> seems a little. Well, I mean, I guess I mean I I mean, yeah, yeah, it makes it makes no sense. Yeah, I was I was going to say like you know it makes sense that like you know, there's still like residual people who believe that, but like so much of that ideology is predicated on strength. And yeah. so, like, if, if Nazis have been defeated in a, in a civil war in Germany, like, there's there's no way it exists in any yeah. organised form outside of the outside of those borders. Because, like, where there was organised Nazism outside Germany, it was being financed by Germany. Yeah. And support and backed by them. End days. How's it going? How's your uh, civil war buddy? So they're about need... evenly matched. Yeah, it's it's pretty much fine. I just need um my naval invasion tech to oh hello oh my god <laughs> trotsky uh is back i oh, know it's not trotsky it's alexei afanasev which i assume is a different part of the soviet tree uh looks pretty m evenly matched the soviet you see, Union may have the edge. That's fun. Soviet Socialist Successionist Republic. Is that what it is? Ah, oh, sorry, I've been muted. I don't you know. Have, you, you have been muted. SSSR. I don't know what it stands for. It's not Trotsky. It's one of the other, the other paths. Curious. Very curious. I like that I can import from Malaya without using convoys. Like I'm really, I'm really getting it by train. Had <laughs> is a long train. <laughs> All right, gimme, gimme. Romania. I naval. Oh, I haven't got any ships. <clears throat> I haven't got any naval superiority. 
<laughs> I can't uh, even. I can't even do the naval invasion. Can I create a faction with you? No. Can you create a faction with me? Oh my lord, that's so annoying. I I need paratroopers. <laughs> I'm not researching paratroopers. Your allies are making gains. And they're very close to cutting the uh, supply of northern Finland. I need them to just get a port. And then I, and then I, I mean, can the first port they're going to get is Helsinki. Yeah, I know. Damn it. Uh, offer of military access was denied. Sorry, but that was, was that you? <laughs> Soviets, please. Do, do. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just keep land leafing them. I can't even send an attache. I haven't got a political power. Okay. Yeah, this tree when uh, it's going to be interesting. Damn it! I oh, guess actually, so Austria-Hungary. I, I think I will do the focuses because they might just bend to my will. If Hungary agrees, they will join a personal union. <laughs> but with you? Yeah. Christ, that'll make you, that'll make you frightening. It would be pretty beefy. I'm worried about the Soviets, though. It looks like the uh, SSSR is going to lose. Uh, yeah, the Soviets are slightly more powerful on division count. Not by much, though. But they have a, they have a much better... Much they, see, they're not, necessarily. Well, not on my well, screen. It, well, the, the, the range is, is higher for the Soviets ever, so it's likely. Actually, no, it's not. It's, it's not. Range, it's just, it's just the lower is, the lower yeah. is higher, but the, the upper maximum is higher for the others. Yeah, true. Yeah, but, but the, the supply situation. Have the, better, the better industry and the better supply. <laughs> Holy crap! Hover over the SSSR and you'll think your supply map mode is not working. <laughs> because there are no train lines in the whole damn country. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, there are some. There are some in, a, the in the south and there's one in the east, but still. Hang on. Lithuania asks for peace. Hang on, I need to read this. Poland and Lithuania have technically never signed any formal peace deal. Enact guarantee independence, or I think not. Uh, I think not, because that might bring me to war against you. Oh, I'd rather you didn't go to war with me. Yes. That's understandable. That's my desire in life. Given my mighty force of arms and tactical genius, I can see why. You know. Come on, Greater Finland, you can do it. I believe. Just like they've, they've nearly taken Helsinki. Finland can't have that many victory points. If they take Helsinki, I can get my, I can get my troops in. And then it's game over. Good luck. All right, what do I want to get for my last guy? War industrialist. Consumer goods down. That seems good. Probably five percent consumer goods. Seven days and I get Romania. I have to get seven seven hundred and fifty thousand men fielded for the uh, Hungarian focus, but Romania will help with that. I have to imagine. Yeah. So renew Allied trade or seek fascist investments. Fascists give me some tanks. Britain gives me some, wow, factories. I'm, <laughs> More I'm, I'm factories. Gonna, I'm going to go with a new allied trade. Boom. Yeah, so there's a focus in this bit which gives me uh, three mills and two sieves. And then another one gives me one more one more mill. And then another one gives me one more sieve and one more mill. <laughs> and then one that gives me three naval dockyards. <laughs> oh, wow, there's, there's one that gives me 360 fighters. Nice. Hurricanes. Come on, guys, take Helsinki already. All 
Alright, that was pretty successful. Going well so far. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Lithuania just declared war on me. Wait, what? I guess they didn't like me not giving them that peace treaty. Um, I mean, I'd rather you didn't eat them. <laughs> well, what, what do you want from me? They're at war with me. Well, just, just, just hold them at their borders. Hang on, do I have to be I... at peace? One of the following must be true. Oh no! What? In order to do this, Slovakia has to exist, or Czechoslovakia has to exist. Oh no! So I can't, uh, I can't do the restore. Poland Hungary thing. Even though Austria Hungary may ex under Austro Hungary exists. That's really silly. Because I can't go down the tree that ends up with restore Austria Hungary because Austro Hungary has, has done a thing. Do I really have to not capitulate them? <laughs> I mean, I would rather you didn't. I, it won't be long. All right. Especially as I can, I can, I mean, I've, got, I've, got, I've got to get through Latvia. And find some more divisions from somewhere, but apart from that, it's gonna be fine. As soon as as soon as Finland falls, and then I can do the decision to give me cause on Finland, it's gonna be everything's fine. I've, I've got loads of equipment, and I can I can steamroll that here in Lithuania easily. But I, I I get cause on Lithuania, so I need I need I need yeah. to have it. That's fair. I, I also need I also need Lithuania for the for the decision. Right. I, I literally have to have Lithuania to do the unify the Baltic decision. Come on, I, I, so annoying. I, 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 they've got an encirclement. Can't even send volunteers. Gotta wait 102 days to finish researching paratroopers. I need to build some transport planes. Which needs Throwing to 54 divisions at Lithuania seems like overkill. You're not wrong. <laughs> you are not wrong. It's so annoying that because because I haven't got one destroyer, I can't do a naval invasion, even though they have no navy. <laughs> that does seem odd. I, guess. I have literally I, I can build early destroyers, but I have no dockyards. It would take me if I'm three fifties away from a dockyard. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I can I build one? Dockyard six thousand four hundred. Can I just like build a dockyard? I don't know, I've only got two. It would take, it would take me literally a year. <laughs> I'm just winning fights on the border against Lithuania and then not taking the lands. <laughs> Just practicing, you know. <laughs> Got to keep your eye in. <laughs> I need aluminium oh, now as well. Excuse me a moment. I'm gonna have to just deal with negative supply. Then I can sort this out. So 180 days until I can get paratroopers, and then I've got to just try and take Helsinki. Your playthrough got ruined because Austria refused your ultimatum. What happened to Christo in the last game he played? You can you can beat them. That wasn't Austria. You... Oh no, it was Austria. It was Austria. Yeah, Austria yeah. refused and 
and Czechoslovakia refused. Yeah, you can beat them. You just, it's, just, it's just a slow grinding war, but you can beat Austria with Hungary. No, Austria was trivial. It was uh, Czechoslovakia that was a pain. Right. Austria, you just walk in immediately with your starting units. Mess up their supply lines. Take them out. It was not... It was no bother. <laughs> I'm really just bullying Lithuania here. <laughs> I've taken 400 casualties so far. Oh, that's my core manpower. Oh, come on. You don't get that back. That's not how that works, is it? Like, killing, killing people... Killing troops doesn't lower the population of provinces. Mm, no. No, you're right. Oh, demand yeah. Slovakia was bypassed. So I can still do... No, I can't. Because I, oh, only because I don't have enough men in the field. Okay, so it's still on the table. Oh, fuck yeah. They're going to they're gonna lose. Right. Who are your, your guys in Finland? What does that do to your tree? Then least. Just, like, have literally fucking everything I have. Take like all my guns. It it it, it, it means I means I, I have to then like, take Finland by war. Right. Fifty-five days till paratrooper research, research. Just don't die in fifty-five days. I don't know why they're I don't know why they're losing. They just got lesser divisions. Mm. I have one transport plane built. I think, I think they're gonna lose. They're, 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 they're being crushed now. They've lost their they've lost the supply hub. Oh yeah, that's an F. And there's just no <laughs> way that Russia will give me access. Oh, this is so annoying. Oh, I have just not enough manpower to get these guys deployed. So they're not currently allied to to Hungary to Germany. So would Germany be able to invite them to a faction if I declared war on them? I'm not sure. You can see the little little trains moving around. It is fun. Hello, Trollek. Welcome to the stream. I need more. Oh, this is so frustrating. Thirty nine days. Needs to go to limited conscription. Oh, I'm like t something like twenty-one thousand manpower short. Take. Yeah, they've they've been next. F. So I'm still at war with Finland then. <laughs> yeah. So as soon as we get into a faction together, we can uh, trounce them. Watch those. The thing is, they're, they're going to defend defend their coast now. That's that's fine. View on the new dock, by which I assume you mean DLC. It's good. I've really enjoyed it so far. Uh, okay. Ah, I'm 18,500 man pass short. That is tough. Relatively slow tanks with a three man turret. And a howitzer. And some radio. Some sloped armor. More soft attack. And some more smoke launchers. Oh, I can't afford it. One, 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 two. Still can't afford it. You should be able to save a design before you can afford it. Yes, I think you should as well. I'm just building medium tanks 
1.25 per month. Hello, Zloic and Raiders. Welcome. How goes it? We're, we're glorifying Poland to the best of our ability, know. which I'm sure will appeal to a lot of you. <laughs> <laughs> if it isn't our old community manager, both of them, in fact. <laughs> Adaway is also here. You were never a community manager, Christo. Come on now. That's true. That's true. Well, not a paradox. Oh, true, yeah. Poland is doing well. Estonia to the north, less so. Right. How many days? I have nine days to crown trees. I just land, get Helsinki. But then they've got between 5 and 12 divisions. I only have 4. But I'll have some more soon. Because I've got the anti communist militia focus, which will give me 4 new divisions out of thin air. Try and recruit another one. Man, this is annoying. If I, if I, if I just. Oops, not, I was muted. If I just clicked one decision more, they would have had one more state. It would yeah. have been easier. But I do think you should, if, if, if the enemy has no ships out in the sea, you should be able to just launch an invasion. That does seem sensible. Straight, yeah. You can't. <laughs> now there are two of them. This is getting out of hand, etc., etc. Right, just three factories on medium tanks. And I should give it a better name, probably. This is the... It'll do, tank. Additional machine guns. And some armor. Right. Okay. I can now do paratroopers. So we're going to take, like, half this four, these four guys and make them paratroopers. There's no time to make a template because we have no army experience. I'm going to have to fall back to let them retake their capital. <laughs> please, please, Hungary, just don't join a faction with Germany so that I can take you out. Yeah, Poland-Romania is... Uh, not only Poland-Romania, Poland-Hungary. The old Anjou dynasty is about to get restored. Where's my airbase? <clears throat> there it is. Let's land. Now Pelsinki. Win the war. With some steps in between. No! 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 Ah, oh, fudge. <laughs> okay, I can retreat. I might win the Battle of Forest successfully retreat, though. The fourth international. Is that the SSR one? Yes. Oh no, it's not the actual faction they formed. It's just a just a news event. That is some serious border goal in the uh, Soviet Civil War right now. Yeah, it's not looking good. But again, without supply, the SSR is kind of doomed. Yep. All right, come on. Got a few more men in the field. What do you mean it's not a valid province for a power drop? I gotta put planes in the airbase first. Oh, oh, that must be it. The Japanese shogunate has declared war on China. Interesting. You get army XP based on how overwhelmingly you win battles, don't you? Partly. Not army XP, sorry. General XP. Yeah, I think so, because it was tweaked to... Because originally it was too easy to just, like, grind it in, yeah. like, endless battles. So, yes, I think that's true now. All right, I swear to God, if I can't get air superiority, I'm going to lose my shit. Because <laughs> it's all I have left. Other than, like, taking a year to build, like, one destroyer or whatever by building a dockyard. Railway guns are incredibly overpowered. Nice. We will try them out then. Uh, 
It's 6 to 13 divisions. If I land with 8, I should be able to hold something. <laughs> this, this whole just bullying the Lithuanians on the front line is, is quite entertaining. <laughs> I'm just repeatedly winning battles against them and then not advancing. <laughs> <laughs> Please. There we go. Restore Poland. Thank you. Wait, what? Japan has attacked China. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's, it's now. Oh, it's non aligned Shogunate Japan. Yeah. Against Communist China and regular China. Regular old vanilla China. Vanilla China with no added flavorings. Lemon and herb China. China doesn't have a old history path, does it? Really? Uh. Well, I mean, it, it can choose to, like, war internally or focus on... Yeah, it has this, the uh, warlords, like, I guess. You can yeah. play as a warlord and have a... Yeah, the warlords can go other I mean, like, the main... China. Yeah, but yeah. But no, not, not... I mean, not in the same way that um, some of the later focuses have. Yeah. The countries have. Um, although... No, Waking the Tiger was the first one we did where, where it was, like, full-on... Let's do alternate history. He said we. Uh, of course. Yeah, <laughs> to be fair, that became Waking the tiger was me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that literally was you, wasn't it? <laughs> I was still, um, I was still just some new YouTuber. Absolutely. That man. All right, they deployed all the manpower now. Nearly, close enough. Excuse me. Okay, so next division is ready in uh, two months. Oh, so yeah, yeah. It's not until <clears throat> December the 29th. I should mention, Zloic viewers, there'll be a bunch more Hoi and Mayo Texas content on the channel. You should follow so that you get notified when I go live in the future. Alright. And yeah, we're not winning against Lithuania, just FYI, because we're playing with uh, Adaway and Estonia, and it's uh, Estonia can get calls on it, so. You get modern tanks in 1940 as the Soviets at the moment? That is... <laughs> that is something else. <laughs> Superb. Maybe I should just invade, maybe just invade Latvia. Yeah, I mean... I can, I can invade Latvia in 70 days. I get, I get the wall goal. Well, so 74 days. Kind of might as well. Get some dockyards off them. And help you with your naval invasions. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, it gives me a chance. Because I've got six new divisions to complete in two months. And that will probably mean I can beat Finland. At the moment, it would be a bit... be a bit hairy. Soon, we should be able to faction up. Well, not that soon, I guess. A bunch more well-tensioned, but... I wonder if Hungary is going to bend the knee. They have a non-aggression pact, but they shouldn't be able to... Like, unless Germany guarantees them. Yeah. They shouldn't be able to uh, to do it, but... And the supply situation is fine, and their supply situation is... Uh, <clears throat> very vulnerable to a... Uh, cutting in the north, and then a Budapest thrust. Or new to them. Right, I should design a tank. Yeah, I need to learn more about tanks and uh, and what makes what makes a good tank. Big gun, big gun boat, go boat. Yeah, I imagine that's going to be part of it. I like making very fast tanks. I think that's that's funny. The AI does struggle to deal with speed sometimes, so that seems. Uh, Prudent. Oh, you know what I should be doing? I should be doing logistical strikes against the uh, against the Lithuanians. I wonder if you get air experience for logistical strikes. Looks like no. In which case, let's not bother. Let's do some air exercises. Why don't I have... Come on, Austria Hungary. Just, just give it up. Just give it up. You know you want to. They're, they're out of supply trying to hold Eastern Slovakia. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, yeah, Radio, right. Radio, and then... Float down worth it? 
So if I fully mechanize these guys, yeah, we can very nearly support it. Australia seeks distance from the Commonwealth. I'm gonna have a a part part motorized army and just have like the whole army part motorized. Okay, so it's actually I'm looking at tanks. It's actually kind of better for me to do a diesel engine, which gives me more reliability. Yeah, diesel is what then, I went with. And then um, just crank up the engine stats, and you get a faster speed with low, with still high right. reliability. It's probably less the case when you actually end up at really high engine stats because you'll get. I mean, like, like I, I'm like relatively high. I mean, like so, higher tech. Yeah, so gasoline engine is giving me like, um, like. 12, so 10, 11 kilometers an hour at 86% reliability. I'm now at like 15 K kph at 92% reliability by putting a diesel engine in. What could go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Start cranking these out. Um... We need to go down to speed three. Just click faster, Firehead. <laughs> All right, I am uh, indeed going to pretty trivially cut their supply lines. Uh, so the whole point of this folk armor isn't just to um, cut production costs, Santa. It's also helps to deflect projectiles and to be fair like it was like a design innovation at this, at this time um it wasn't immediately obvious to everyone that you would do that why i mean that's like a thing back all back in the day of like star citadel design i i don't know i can't say i know enough about interwar tank design but god there were, there were many tanks that weren't sloped calls himself a historian I definitely do not call myself a historian. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, very yeah. careful not to call myself. I know. <laughs> there isn't there isn't really a snapping name for what I do beyond YouTube. History communicator. Yeah, I know, but that's not yeah, snappy. Okay. It's a bit, it's, it's a bit I mean it's a bit like uh clumsy. It is a little. Uh, prepare collaboration government in Sweden. Yes. Right, okay, so I should line my troops up against um, against the Latvians and change my. No, 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 no. Hold on. Alright, we've invented some better planes. I should probably get some anti tanks for the future of. Uh the probable future of fighting like Germany and stuff. Uh, by the way, uh, Christo's chat, if you didn't know who I was talking to just then, I'm also live on Twitch, uh, streaming my perspective of this yes, game. Yes, if you go to this multi-Twitch link, mm, that didn't work. It mm. it's, pro it's probably with the old, is it with my? No, it didn't work at all. all. Oh, right, okay. I'll, just, I'll, just, I'll just link my Twitch page. Yeah. Go get Adaway's perspective as well. For a good time. For those that are real Estonian hours. <laughs> Hammering our way through the mountains here. So I should probably switch to superior firepower, right? Off grand battle plan. I'm doing superior firepower, yeah, for this off attack. They have buffed it, but... Yeah, I'm going to switch. Let's play a game called Has the AI Garrisoned Its Supply Hubs? <laughs> you going My for a uh, parry drop? Is no. Yes, I am. All right, just cut this railway line to the east. Although I think, I'm pretty sure cutting this railway line... Hey, chat, if any of you know better, I'm pretty sure cutting this railway line to the east will do nothing to their supply because they don't have any supply hubs east of this point. I believe that is how it works. God, we're, we're, we're struggling here. The damn Czechs have a, a good border defense set up, but... 
It won't stop me forever. So who's going to win this Spanish Civil War? Fascists. I've run out, I've run out of freaking civs. There's too much, too many reels is being built, being, being bought. It should reduce... The, oh, of course, yes, sorry. It will reduce the supply because we're not just cutting the line. We're actually taking the literal supply hub. Right, right, right. But if we took this province and this province, that uh, would reduce I it. I need to get on freaking war economy. Okay. Oh, yeah, I should do that as well while I'm in this war. Ah, uh, supply problems. Ah, oh, the last standing, the bastards. I need to get some war immediately. Luckily, in four days, I can. What are you doing with England? Are they investing in you? Um, not yet. I'm, I'm going down. Spirit? I'm going down that part of my tree, but I haven't. I haven't got down it fully. There, there is a there is a mechanic where they give me stuff. Like the next focus gives me 360 hurricanes. <laughs> wow. To use, which is nice. Yeah, that's pretty good. <sighs> Supplies are not good. But if I, if I land and take Riga, then their supplies will be even worse. Yeah. Let's give it a go. Good luck. Still can't invite you to faction because I haven't got this national spirit for it. Oh no, they're garrisoned them. <laughs> Cheeky fuckers. F. It's not entirely F yet, I just got... Hey, supply node taken. Enemy defense. I cannot believe they garrisoned their Shambolic. cities. That is absolutely outrageous. Don't you try and reinforce. Yeah, their supply situation is absolutely disastrous now. And it's only gonna get worse. Incredibly, I've not lost any of my divisions to encirclement. <laughs> when can the Germans invite them to a faction? 40. Okay. I need to stop Damn, they stopped this freaking... Alright, you know what? Let's stop, stop messing around with... Supply oh. fun and games in the north. Let's just go after their actual exposed part over here. I think I've got a special projects. Oh, I'm doing that stupid operation. That's fly. What are you stop doing? It. Stop, stop, stop preparing this. Re refund. Give up. I was, I was preparing a collaboration government in Sweden. That was consuming all of my, all of my sieves. <laughs> Why hasn't even my sims back to me yet? Uh, supplies. <laughs> yep. It's a common a common cry at the moment. Give me my sibs back. Oh, now seven of them are going. I've gone to some consumer goods. Okay, I've got eight. I've got eight back. Okay. Yeah, it's a known issue. They're working on it. The port thing, that is. Right, these guys should be able to push them out because of their low supply issues. I know I'm giving myself some oh my serious God, supply issues here as well. Attacking. Yeah, they're, they're, AI is aggro at using those right now. Yeah. Mm, this isn't great. Ah, uh, yikes, 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 yikes. Cover the ground. Quick little railway connection in here. I love that some of the lines my guys sound like saying, Oh, bugger. <laughs> it really sounds like it. I'm being, I'm being, I'm being pushed back here. <clears throat> really? Yeah, supply situation is dreadful. Mm. For some reason, they're not struggling with it. Well, they have a node substantially closer to the front than you do. Oh, come on, build the railway line. But they can't because be, the province is being attacked. Oh, 
All right, there we go. Now this is connected to the front. This situation will improve. Copium. <laughs> I should be able to push across to Budapest pretty soon. Yeah, that little extra railway to push into uh, Eastern Slovakia is going to be good. So hopefully the Soviets will stay busy in their civil war for a while. Because they're not making much headway. Hey, I can do the between the seas concept. Nice. Let's do it. I can try and get Yugoslavia in. Then we would be truly between the seas. Bum, 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 bum. Let's send some of these guys down. We don't need them all up there. Also, yeah, train, train a bunch more men. Do, do, do. Yeah, no, it is realistic that Doomstack Navies eat, eat your uh, supply, but the the problem is that it's not just that navies eat a lot of your supply, it's that units standing in provinces with navies actually don't get to call on na national supply at all. Yeah. Um, oh, man. Which is obviously not quite the, uh, not quite the idea. <laughs> My train network to supply Transylvania goes via Bucharest. <laughs> I'll improve once I take this right, province. If, if Finland naval invades me now, I'm dead. <laughs> Luckily, he has like no fleet. I am. I'm doing a thing which will let us get oh, into God, a faction. Yes, yes, so just, just back your, put one guy in there. You said the problem was supply. Hey. You said your problem was supply. It so, is supply. And it's so putting some being... guys back can't no, be, be bad. It can, and I'm being, I'm losing two battles on my front line. <laughs> oh dear. Why are they not? They're, they're not suffering at all. These and these railway networks won't build because they are being attacked in the, in the province. Ideally, I win this battle first, so these guys get pocketed, but so I guess I weaken the attack a bit. Get across the river. Right. I need my my fighters from Britain to arrive so I can do another another power drop landing. They have been there between seven and sixteen divisions. One, two, four, six, seven. Eight. Only only nine on the front lines. So they've got maybe some others in the back in the rear. Yeah. I'm just going to keep trying to take Riga by air. I hope they leave it unguarded at one point. That's <laughs> basically the extent of the plan. It's, a, it's not the best plan. That's all I've got. I can respect that. Oh, I got a bunch of planes off. Uh, oh, God, I'm going to lose that province. Well. Nice. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> Not going your way, huh? Not going my way. Have you built new supply house or something? No, it's just... So we're just getting a bit close. Yeah, I'll have to keep up the land. Oh, now they're taking that province as well. I think this is the plan. We push in through here. 
All right, give me war economy. Nice, down to 19% uh, consumer goods. I still need to deal with this darn embargoed economy thing. Oh, they're actually doing a not totally unsuccessful counter-offensive down here. One, two. That's going to cripple the supply if I do that. Just keep it a bit wider. How goes it against Latvia? Oh, just unchanged borders. <laughs> they push it back a little bit. I'm I'm happy for the lull just so I can get this railway built. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, otherwise, my, 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 I'm fine with supply. The, le the left side is now fine when they, now they push me back. Um, if I can just sort the supply situation out, it'll be, it'll be all right. Right. Right, I have 300 new fighters from Britain. Now I can take this. Nice. Oh, I, I haven't got enough manpower for, it, for the for the air wing. <laughs> I've got some pretty bad supply situations myself, but I think it's going to be worth it to push in through these mountains. As soon as we get into the plains and woods of of uh, you know Transdanubia, we'll be in a good place. Some lives may have to be lost to assist in this push. Some pinning actions. Oh no, I didn't mean to do it right now. Oh, Christ. What have you done now? Oh, you've landed by Riga. I didn't mean to do this. <laughs> oh dear. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna lose these divisions. Oh no, I might be able to save you. If I can push in through Lithuania and get a border with you, then I should be able to get you supply over the border. Smuggle it in. Although that won't work anymore without train line connection, I guess. They are they are retreating up the border then. An opportunity. Four hundred strap bombs into Tokyo is China. Just completely broke them. Nice. Uh, yeah, that's not giving me supply. Uh, I can retreat there across the border. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> You're welcome. Absolute scenes on the Hungarian Hungarian border right now. Planes Wait, going no, down all over the shop. Thank you, sausage. Can I, can I paratroop back in from, from your land? I don't know. I can, can I? I can, though, just cross, I can cross back in at, at will, though. Is that wherever I want? <laughs> uh, no, I can't. No, because you're, because you're neutral. neutral. Yes, yeah. yeah, so I can't actually do that. Uh, they'd have to just chill out there until the war's over. Well, I mean, they can go south and get on the boat. Get on the boat! Whoa, whoa, where are you going? The voice lines are really good as Poland. But some of the ones they did pre-release, isn't it? <clears throat> uh, I don't actually know. Uh, where would be good to land? Uh, I reckon there's land right here. Australia severs ties with Britain. And there's a paradox. Yeah. What is that? What does that say? It says Parliament House with a picture of the Paradox logo on it. What was that? The German Empire declared war on Lithuania. No. Wait, what? No, it's mine. Germany, could you not do this, please? Why does Germany have the, the, the Memo. Nazi colour? Oh, yeah. That's weird. I'm signing a non-aggression pact with Germany. Oh, 
They better not get all this land in this peace deal, because I clearly deserve it. Oh God, how is the supply that bad? That's horrendous. Haha, <laughs> Germany. Got memo. <laughs> we'll just get you to release it later on. Will they? No, no, I can get you to release Lithuania later on. Oh, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. How can this supply be this bad? <laughs> you need a supply hub down there. Yeah, but I think that you, could, you, you can't. One does not to me just build a supply hub. <laughs> it takes about 7,000 years. All right, I need a tiny bit more world tension. Like, Christ. Like, like I'm getting none. Like absolutely none, not even a small bit. <laughs> I can't I can't motorize because I have no trucks. Supply planes are incredibly powerful on strat bombing. You can wreck their trains. Alright, good to know. Alright, let's hold off here and reconsider. This is where I should be attacking right now. Because I need to take Budapest for the supply. Dun, 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 dun. This war is stagnating. Oh, hog. <laughs> what happens? I've taken, I've taken Rika. Nice. <laughs> Attack. Oh no, I'm in, I'm in such bad supply. I can scarcely do anything about it. How close did I get him to capitulation? Oh, nowhere near capitulation. Yeah, I need to... I need to reduce my presence on this front line. I should realize they, they, they got a supply hub at a different city as well. No reinforcing. Only I am allowed to reinforce. Those are the rules that I just made up. Alright. Drive them back. I'm just doing a cycle of dropping into your territory and then just crossing over into the, <laughs> your side and then just do a rinse and repeat. <laughs> That is funny. Oh my god, you lost Riga! Yeah. I, I, I couldn't break through <laughs> to my paratroopers. The supply is so bad. <laughs> right, there's my anti-tanks. It's so severe, like, it's absolutely fine. And then the next province over is literally zero supply. What's the infrastructure like locally? It's it's damaged. It's bad, That's I probably assume. why. Yeah, I have to imagine that damaged infrastructure is a big part of why it's not working. Alright, bring these ten down here. And we'll send some up. I'm nearly at Budapest though. Oh shit. As soon as Buddha oh, falls, I'll supply shit. situation. <laughs> Hold on! 6% world tension. Right, just right, just retreat. It's pointless staying in these, these provinces. I believe in you. I have every faith. I bet I'm losing way too much manpower here. Yeah. No manpower. Jean III has claimed the throne of France. Interesting. 
What does that mean they're doing? I don't remember the French tree very well. No, I mean neither. Well, at least this grind is letting me get some good uh, uh, doctrines. So shall I puppet uh, Hungary? Shall I put them under a personal union? Or should I just take them? What do you think, chat? Alright, Budapest. You get cause? I don't think I do. Do I have cause in this land? I shouldn't. Yeah, no, it's just all, oh, it's just all occupied. I get cause in Romania, though. Which is why I have this sexy uh, 52 million core population. It's the Olean branch. Sorry, Olinus, not Olean. <laughs> right. Which means... They're going down here. Which will eventually give them moving against Italy. Okay. All right, there goes Budapest. That's going to really mess with their supply lines. Which means we can probably mess with them down here. Just keep driving them back there. Jolly good. All right, what have I invented? Yes, anti-tank, get some of that going if possible. I should probably have some trains in production just so I have the production efficiency beginning to tick up as well. And give me another couple on planes as well. Then we're gonna need to import some more stuff. Malaya, hit me up. Portugal, a little more. And sure, the US. They got the Bourbon flag back. That's cool. <clears throat> you can chill, finish your doctrines. Yes, yes, that is true. Yes. <laughs> New sounds on the tech window are fun. <clears throat> oh, I'm, I'm just concentrating so up. hard right now. It's okay. It's like, like, like. like intense man you are you are doing some crazy stuff <laughs> the repeated paradrops are funny i'm basically the plan is like do a power drop distract some divisions from their front line and then just like make hay whilst they're away <laughs> and, and, and so they have to come back and form spoil the party basically the supply is so bad it's so bad man <laughs> it is uh it's looking like a struggle up there Once I get this this mutual defense fund or whatever it's called, we're gonna have four percent of it. Oh no, I lost the power troop division. Damn. Oh, they don't auto retreat into my land, I guess. No, yeah, I guess not. One of them got caught. What width divisions have you gone with? I think thirty is is probably good for now. Fifteen at the moment. Right, yeah, fifteen's also good, I think. Okay. Right, railway. If I can just sneak up here and grab this, uh, this supply hub, then they're totally doomed. How many trucks have I got now? I've got. That will be a truck. Struggle. 100 trucks, right? Come on, it's motorized. I can get, if I get some. 100 trucks is not going to get you that far. I need 25. Why am I. At Zero percent fulfillment. Oh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay. It just doesn't do it the first day. You guys should be naval exercising. Why aren't you naval exercising? Oh, oh, I need a they're train. They're literally all repairing. Have you got any trains? I do. Can you send me a train? I suppose. Oh, that's a request. Uh, no, I can't. I don't have enough uh, water oil tension. 
<laughs> Sorry, the world tension prevents me from selling you a train right now. <laughs> you have to be in a world war for people to give each other trains. <laughs> it's the trains only scenario. Are conditional on global conflict. <laughs> So shall I do a diplomatic mission to Finland? Do you, do you think there's like, a, there's like a black market for peacetime and train sales? <laughs> so I can't go down my tree without inventing, inviting Finland to the faction. So I'll just kick them out if they say yes. But oh yeah, you don't want me to invite like Denmark and Sweden and stuff, do you? No. Okay. I want to I guess, own their land. I guess I won't do that then. I guess it's finally time to clamp down on the damn Nazis of Danzig. Oh, it did bypass. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay. It did bypass them. It really should bypass them without you having to start them, ideally. But, oh well. Let's open yeah, the hey, economy. I've made some actual progress. Good. And my supply is not abysmal. It's bad, but it's not abysmal. There is, there is like an amount of supply getting through. <laughs> there is an amount. It's not very much, but it's it's something. A greater than zero quantity of supply. Yeah. You'd have what, to see what, more, what more can we wish for, really? Mm-hmm. Oh shit! No 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 no! I can't pin. No. I always fucked up. Fucked up. <laughs> I'd always fucked up. Yes, yes, yes. Take that province. All right. This push, this push is I'm where the I'm gonna kill a division. <laughs> <laughs> After all this time. Death to freaking. I'm Matthew. so proud of you. If so is AI, they will soon justify a war goal, even though they're in a civil war. But that's good to know, thank you. We're oh, not on historical focuses, though. We're on... They're, they're set to random, so they will have chosen a path. Which is a really cool change, by the way. The fact that they actually, like, choose a path rather than just doing random weighted focuses. It's extremely good and sensible change to the game. That I am very happy about. Along with many others. Are getting some sabotage back here. Well, there's a scorched earth button. Those are railways. Preventing repairs. Where's the resistance target? Yeah, that's pretty bad. Oh, garrison fulfillment is actually hurting me. Why? I need... Oh, man packs. I've left these full for too long. Yeah, that's my bad. You also need support equipment? Why? Oh, I left the freaking recon in the garrison template. That's my bad. Oh, it's absolute scenes going on here now. <laughs> You're making headway. I am making actual headway. Fantastic. Green bubbles are appearing. Magnificent. Right, now it's time to just like airborne take Riga again and then, then they'll be screwed. If I can push in here and take this tile, that will totally what destroy What do you mean, what do you mean hostile air superiority? What do you mean? Get there are no planes over the Baltic. Are there there are, no, there are, oh, sorry, of course I can't ones. see yours. Um, I have no go. manpower to, with which to deploy planes. Oh Damn it! God, even attacking this province from like six directions, it's mountains, I can only get it up to 20. Sorry, 200. Actually, coverage is slightly better from here. Advanced machine tools, nice. Better artillery. Let's do it. Oh, good lord. Ah, oh, it's not really working. Let's let them get some um, preparation bonus. Or. Oh, do you want not? He was retreating. Could immediately attack in here. Cut the supply line. Shuffle some of these guys around. There we go. Uh, some new new roles time. Time some infantry expert assignings, probably. Yep. And you 
Sure, give me an infantry expert roll. Oh, you're already army defense. Alright, how about you? Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Damn. Put him back. Which one was he? Where is he? Hang on, does unassign, like, disband a general? Uh, unassigned from what? Just the button when you click on select a commander. I hope it doesn't. I don't know. Who was I using? Was it this guy? Yeah, it was this guy. Okay, okay. No, it's all good. It's all good. I wanted to make this guy in. Would you specialist to know? Oh, no, it's this guy. Right, and then... Yes, he's who we'll get next. Nice, because he'll keep leveling up as we continue our many campaigns. The fight for the mountains not going so well. Let's just let them continue to suffer in their supply problems. And let's concentrate these guys a bit. How is supply in here? It's not brilliant, but it's working. Just give me the manpower. Am I on extensive conscription already? No, just limited. Okay, so I should go up to extensive soon. How goes it? Oh, it's tense, man. It's tense. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Come on! I just need to take this province and then all this, all this northern bit is screwed. Unless they have military access, which they shouldn't. Supply situation here is becoming dire, but if we can just ram them through. The other thing I should be doing is, for some reason, I guess the light infant, sorry, the light tank thing. Doesn't one of these give you a new template? Or am I crazy? Maybe I'm just crazy. I'm going to start building some, some tanks here. Let's go with the motorized recon. Not short on tanks. Cool. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to be able to cut their entire northern supply line. It's funny, we were talking about how good they, how well they've been doing defending supply hubs. They don't seem to have given the same. Like, they don't understand the value of this. this train junction it seems like otherwise they would have a lot more men kind of rushing in to defend it hey james thank you for the raid i appreciate it right, come on punch through they brought in some tanks which probably don't have great defense yeah terrible defense they do have oh yes there's the new whole new um penetrating thing So it's pretty similar at this level. Looks like. Um, the, the, my big problem now is manpower. I don't have any manpower. Yeah. And I can't go to the next manpower law because I can't go to Warcom. I haven't got Hannah force support. So I'm just, I'm just, I'm just bleeding away here. Ouch. Yeah, my war support's pretty bad actually. I think I'm gonna use some. Use I'm a lot. I'm a lot of manpower in the whole. Like third, like some of these things are down to like 38%. Ouch. Thirty-eight percent. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm fucked manpower-wise. That's pretty bad. A few more into the north here. Training my first tank division. Let's go. He'll be ready in February. <laughs> Come on, break them! Let's hit him here as well. Going all the way along the line. If I can push across from Budapest, and yeah, if we can just take this tile. It won't take them long to build new railways to help, but in the time when they're doing that, I think this side may, may crumble. Integrating Danzig's done. 
Anything else in here I really care about? Like cruiser models? Not really. I think I might lose this war. <laughs> it's only a tiny bit more, more um, stuff, and then I can help you out. I've got 140 days until I can get more manpower. If you can justify on someone, I can, I can save you right now. Yes, there we go. We've got it. Push on to Bratislava, if possible. Let's do infantry tech ahead of time. It usually seems fine. All right, I'm just justifying on someone. We've done it. How much? How much? Welcome what, to what, the what faction. Save me! Fuck. <laughs> Call me in. Call me in. I accept. Good lord. It's literally about like... Oh no, for just a second there a bunch of people would join the faction with me. <laughs> but not out or in Latvia. We'll have to take out Latvia and then invite them. We can get uh, Yugoslavia, which puts us at war with uh, Italy. Which seems fun. Oh, we can't do it because world tension declines. Oh yeah, I stopped my justification. Ah. After, 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 yeah. Fair enough. Got you in. Oh man. It's annoying because I, because I, when I played Estonia the other day, briefly, I, I, I won this war against Latvia. Right. I can't remember what I can't really remember what was different. <laughs> I, but I didn't, but I, did, I didn't run into remotely the, the same like crippling supply problems. Right. Maybe, I, maybe I'd done more railway work beforehand. Yeah, maybe. Or something. Well, yeah, I don't know what you're complaining about. It's, invading is really easy here. <laughs> I'm so far in the hole on manpower. So, so, like, supply, so the supply situation was fine. It's fine now, and I have plenty of equipment. But my manpower is is very, very far in the hole. Thank God. Passing our hit done. Nice. Ah, oh, that's it. How much the supply mechanic is DLC? None, I think. Right, I need you to. Uh, I, we, we, need, we need to somehow release Lithuania from you, and I need, I need to like murder them immediately. Well, well, not right now, but very soon. I bypass a lot of focuses then. All right, Yugoslavia is in the hey, faction. Uh, hang on. <laughs> I, I, I have a focus which gives me a war goal against Lithuania. If you release Lithuania, can I attack them immediately? Probably, yeah. Because they'll, yeah. they'll start with no divisions, right? Yeah. Okay. Occupied territories. Tell me when to release them. Tell me to release them like a, a few days before your focus ends. Because I think I might bug it out of this. It's, I mean, I, I already have the focus. I, I already oh, have armored the trains are DLC, okay. Yeah, but I, I mean, uh, like when the focus is almost finished, I mean. But it, it's not a focus I'm doing now. Yeah, we'll do it, you know. When you're doing it, tell me. No, no. What? The focus has been done. I did the focus like 10 focuses ago. Oh, I see. Okay, do you have the CB? Well, I mean, Lithuania doesn't exist, so I can't really... I imagine if I release them, you will not have the CB. But I am prepared just for you. Well, basically, I'll, 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 if, if worst case scenario, I'll need you... I'll, I don't have it. <laughs> I'll, I'll need you to... Um, Justify on them, then. 190 day justification. God's sake. Why 190? I don't know. I have a freaking <laughs> wall goal on them. Hello, detour. About bedtime. Fair enough. Quiet and down. Yes, absolutely I can. All right. Why do I have a wall goal? Because they didn't exist. Because wall goals exist as a state between two existing nations. So we can invite France into the faction, but I kind of don't want to. Oh, you, you're like... at war Finland, aren't you? Yeah. We need to kill Finland. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> I'm busy. Why do you guys want me to ha help against Italy? Yeah, don't don't accept that yet. Well, I mean, you can if you want. But... I've no, no desire to fight. To fight. <laughs> Those guys. 
Right, well, I might as well just start just today. Yeah. Where did all my extra men go? Oh, they've come down here and caused supply issues. Let's send some of them to go and deal with Italy. Yeah, one of these divisions has 17% of its manpower. <laughs> <laughs> it seems it seems poor. Big like nineteen forty five German army vibe. Yeah. So now I have to put up with oh, oh my god, and they're gonna get they're gonna get resistance in Latvia and I haven't got any manpower to occupy <laughs> them. I can't take the decision because I haven't got Lithuania. I found Lithuania for 190 days. Should we invite Turkey or Greece to the uh, faction? Greece for the same colour as yours, so it's annoying. Mm, that's a great, great answer. I'm joining the Italian French war. Good luck. Because fighting on one front just wasn't quite doing it for me. Have they built new trains to repair the situation here yet? Not yet. How have the Soviets not beaten this civil war yet? It is kind of weird. I mean, they do have a it's, lot of troops, but... They're losing. Are they? Well, I mean, that looks that looks bigger to me than it was. Yeah, that's oh, the no. They've, they've lost some land in the south, in the north. Greek AI does excellent naval invasions. Nice. Drive them back. Can Adaway? Yeah, Adaway. Ask me for garrison support. Oh, good lord, yes. I will do just that. Yugoslavia has joined against Finland. We'll be okay. Here's, here's 21,000 manpower. Thank you. That's all I got. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's gold dust to me at this point. Can I, why can't I call Yugoslavia into the war against Austria-Hungary? Wait, am I crazy? Hey. Call all. Oh I don't seem to be able to call... Oh, I'm now at war with Italy. I don't seem to be able to call in Yugoslavia against Austria-Hungary for some reason. Even though it's counting it as like the same war here. Oh. oh, here we go, here we go. I guess it's it's this one. The ally has already been called and we are awaiting their response. But they're an AI. Shouldn't they respond immediately? Do you have a fleet? Small one, yeah. Okay, cool. I'll stop it training so it can finish repairing for once. <laughs> well, once I have man once I have these divisions. Back at full strength. I should, to, I should be able to take Finland, but then again, they've, got, they've now got more divisions than they did. Yeah. So how are things going? Italy is losing to France slowly. And Japan is beating up Zai San Mei, have you say that, which has uh, like fully oh, taken God. over China. Yeah. They're doing makeshift bridges. You're not trying to cross a river, though. <laughs> it seems ill-advised. Oh Alright, you guys. Forget this. Oh, the US has stopped lend-leasing me. I am short on every resource except oil. Oh, I've just thought of something that might be a bug. I wonder if it is. They're using makeshift bridges. Do you reckon that reduces my river crossing penalties if I attack them? It totally does. <laughs> oh, no, hang on. Maybe these are some reinforced yet. Which is this? The 45th, 54th. Okay, yeah, 54th hasn't reinforced in yet. And... No, it doesn't. <laughs> that would have been funny.
All right, here we are at the gates of their supply hub. Still just France we can invite to the faction. New stuff. Give me a, a tank designer. Oh, we could so easily get... Hellenic Republic refuses to join. Outrageous. Give me... Yeah, some more, more shipbuilding. Did you research train guns? Not yet. No. Are they that good? That was after I spent stuff on uh, trying to encourage them as well. Nuts. Oh well. The attack on their supply hub is not going so well. Maybe I could throw Bratislava. I wonder what hung, what uh, Germany is going to do. Them and the Soviets are what scares me, obviously. If Germany declared, maybe I would call France in. Because we're against the Italians now. Getting the Italians involved may not have been that smart. <laughs> if Big they up the Italians. I if, the, if the Germans come in as well, it's going to be a big front we're going to have to deal with. Hello, Stress. Kill him. Wrath dodging. <laughs> oh, God. Get your country under under control, man. I now have negative 76 political power. Everything is fine. <laughs> oh dear. It's all right. Everything is under control. It doesn't sound that way. It's fine. It's fine. Once I get, once uh, once uh, April April the 18th comes around, I take Lithuania. And then everything will be fine. I'll have manpower. And, you know, everything will be hot. Everything you could have ever wanted. I don't know why it feels like Friday. I have a lot to do tomorrow. But <laughs> it still feels like Friday somehow. Alright, my two tank divisions. Almost fully equipped. Here they are. What do I have to do tomorrow? I have to spend more time making graphical assets about submarines. Cool. And stuff for the poster. My two medium tank divisions are deployed. They're you not that the, good. They do have 200 Japan breakthrough. lost 9 million tons of shipping in the Second World War. I think you told me that, yeah. Did you know that 6 million of those tons were sunk after uh, January 1944? I did not. That's Jesus Christ! It really just imploded at the end there. Yeah, well, in the in the first year of the war, the Japanese submarines were arguably more effective than the American ones. And then, um, lots of things happened, and then Japan wasn't very good at it anymore, and America was very good at it. Right. And um, then they basically stopped all oil going to Japan to the point where Japan was experimenting with getting oil from pine trees. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. They, okay. they, they produced 7,000 uh, combat missions worth of fuel oil for fuel from pine, pine trees. That is crazy. It was incredibly expensive and time consuming. Um, and they were basically planning to use like these, this, this fuel in like a massive kamikaze attack when they invaded Japan. They were like, right. saving it up for a rainy day. Special, special pine tree oil. And um, Boom. See, obviously it never, never, never happened because, because of the atomic bombs as we all know, Chris did, right? Oh yes, it was all about the atomic bombs, of course. Don't you fucking <laughs> get me started. Could have just accepted surrender months before the bombs were dropped, but no. Got a f dab on the Soviets. <laughs> 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 
That is the uh, indisputed best way to describe why they use the atomic bombs to dab on the yeah. Soviets. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I keep up one of the books I read for the submarine video is that, like, by the time that the US Air Force was even thinking about firebombing Tokyo, and etc., like, Japan's war economy was already fucked as a result of the submarine, um, submarine and aircraft, like, campaign against its shipping. So, like, again, that was kind of unnecessary because, yeah. like, Japan's economy was already terminally ill on the floor yep. um, because they had no oil. By and far the most by far the most annoying thing about the you know war criminal and totally unnecessary action of the atomic bombings is that it almost certainly prevented World War Three. <laughs> which upsets me. Although if they had um, mm. accepted the Japanese surrender when it was first floated and when they were first aware that it was being floated they might well have been able to uh, have a united non-communist China and a united Korea, which would have been you know, pog. pretty pog, yeah. Very pog. You know, to the point they they ran out of their shipping was so bad that they started they built a bunch of like steel furnaces in China. No, oh, really. It was because it was like so difficult to get steel from Japan. To like the front, or you know, or, or yeah. on the, up from the mines in Manchuria back to Japan, they just started building these big furnaces locally, which were smaller and less efficient and took loads of resources sure. to build. But like <laughs> that was preferable to attempting to ship it to Japan uh, because of how bad it how bad it got. It's pretty nuts. Um, and all their merchant boats had to go to port and basically wouldn't wouldn't didn't really leave port and then still got sunk by aircraft and mines in simply huge numbers. They mines in port. Yeah, in 1945, they they dropped like loads and loads of mines all over Japanese oh, ports and sunk, and sunk like literally like 300 merchant ships that year. Right. And then like running into these mines. And also, also, this is the, this is the last one. Like, <laughs> yeah, spoilers, spoilers you know, for the video. Guess which nation <clears> sunk <throat> the second highest number of Japanese merchant ships during World War Two? It's got to be like the Netherlands. No. Uh, it's not us because our fleet only showed up right at the end. It's not Britain. Um, I don't know who. Japan. <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm using, I'm using quite a broad <laughs> definition in that, like, the, that, that, the number includes all the accidents and, and right. them running, in, running into their own mines. <laughs> it's, it's like running into 100, their own mines definitely counts. A hundred and something, hundred and something <laughs> Japanese merchants were lost either to like. It's written as a marine casualty, which means basically like shipwreck or like some other weird circumstance. Right. Or or, or they yeah they've blundered into their, into their own minefields. At various I, I'm I'm certain at some point there's like a plane that bombed a ship by mistake or something. Yeah. Britain Britain only sunk like about about twenty or so. And, yeah, we only um, showed up like pretty late, right? And the Americans didn't want us to. Um, surface fleet, yes. There, there were there, there were some right. submarines. But Britain submarines were mostly in the Indian Ocean. Okay. Um, there were there were a few that went out there towards the end that were hanging out in the uh, in the Pacific, but it was marginal. You at the U.S. sunk like two thousand merchant ships. Right, two thousand. Bloody hell. <clears throat> oh yes. All right, I'm about to cut the checks in two. By Czechs, I mean Hungarians. My supply situation is a bit worse. Once I take Bredislava, it'll improve. Every time my supply situation has got bad, it's just been like, well, all I have to do is push a little bit further forwards and seize that supply hub off them, and then it will be better. Which is a fun and engaging way to do a front line, in my opinion. I sound sarcastic because I'm being quiet, but I'm not being sarcastic. <laughs> those those sexy Gato class subs to your right. Santos, is it is it Gato or Gato? Please please tell me for the American pronunciation, so I don't get it wrong. Austro-Hungary joins the Central Powers. Oh shit! <laughs> Wait, what? Is that Germany? Yeah. Oh, it's not happening. It's, it's gonna happen again. It's fucking happened again. Finland, oh my god, Finland has joined Italy's faction. Pog. <laughs> um, it makes sense. So yeah, Germany is going to steamroll me. Oh my god. I can't believe it fucking happened again. 
Germany's at war with you. Again. <laughs> Are you shitting let me, let me, me? I'll, I'll, I'll come and help. I'll come and help. Are you shitting me? <laughs> That's such bollocks. We had a non-aggression pact. The the Estonians will come to your aid. Hurry. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe it. For those of you that didn't see earlier, this is literally what happened in the previous campaign as well. We had friendly relations with Germany, and then suddenly we don't anymore. I mean, you are Poland, to be fair. Yes, but we had a non-aggression pact! Yeah, well, so did Stalin. Yeah, but mine was newer than theirs. <laughs> And as everyone knows from Hearts of Iron, you can only break non-aggression packs that are either very old or you have lots more men than them on the border. That's how that's how international diplomacy works. Oh yeah. <clears throat> it's alright, we can hold them. <laughs> we most certainly cannot. My, my Estonian boys have arrived on the front. Everything's under control. I have no manpower to reinforce these divisions. I'm getting 0.09% a day to mobilise... Up to 4.7% of 1 million. <laughs> Which is very much. <laughs> oh, Christ. Back. I can't believe we've lost our first two campaigns in No Step Back. <laughs> we have taken many step steps in the backwards direction. Old men. I'm, the problem is the south is crumbling. So even if the north holds, <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> Invite France. You're a goddamn genius. Come on, France, save us. France will not accept the call to war. Oh, that's outrageous. <laughs> Yugoslavia has joined, though. We are saved. Pull back the tanks to Warsaw at best speed. Quick. Oh no, the tanks are getting encircled. I can't freaking believe... By the way, French Paradox, are you still in the chat? When I select units from multiple armies and hit Control-B, they should strat redeploy. Or is it just B? Sorry, I mean, it's not Control B. Yeah, B. It used to be Control B. I'm pretty sure. They changed that. What's the command for Christos Hoy mods? I don't think I have one right now. For now, just find the collection on my workshop. We are holding. We are not holding. You we seen are. the south? I have. I don't look at the south. <laughs> I've got a fight in Lithuania in two months. <laughs> they have two and between two and oh seven. Oh Christ! Degrees. Bulgaria is in the Central Powers. Gonna need another Wait. army. This is this is good. <laughs> Look at the freaking little freaking Warsaw corridor that we're holding. <laughs> Oh my god. France, please. I beg of you. Oh, the supply, supply situation is good. <laughs> the supply situation is alright, yeah. Although they have just cut my rail connection to the capital. Yeah, so how does that work? Like, it doesn't seem to be causing a problem. It's just reallocated. I guess you have supply capitals. Oh no, they've encircled the capital. I can't believe I'm going to lose two Hoi campaigns in a row. <laughs> Why is it every time we do random focuses, it just ends up in a massive coalition against us? <laughs> in inexorably. I should have won the war against Austria-Hungary faster. If I'd won the war against Austria-Hungary in a hurry, then we could have been in a position to make this a, a, an even fight but it's times it's times like this i wish you were playing ck3 and i could just like swear fealty to a neighboring thing <laughs> yeah just become a soviet client state or something yeah please What's please Papa Stalin, save us <laughs> oh no they're gonna cut me off from my homeland 
We must retreat. I'm gonna use my my medium tanks to liberate Warsaw. What should I mean, happen? Currently held by your your forces, but okay. I know. But I need to liberate like the supply lines to Warsaw. Warsaw shall hold. Britain's there we go. Britain has F. fully decolonized. <clears throat> Oh, could you imagine, like, could you imagine, like, if that path was followed historically, the Too amount of, stuff. like, additional human suffering that would take place? <laughs> yes. Like, if Britain were just, like, 1940, like, yeah, see you later, guys. <laughs> we, Transition governments. Like, now. Transition governments, what are those? <laughs> like, 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 partition, but, like, in every single British territory. <laughs> like, good lord. It would have been pretty, pretty unspeakably terrible, yeah. Did you try the Soviets? Well, like inviting them? No. Oh, you mean playing as them? No, we haven't done that yet. Maybe that's what we should do next. <laughs> Play as some freaking mages. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> beer game, beer game, beer game. Yeah, beer game, what he said. I mean, the thing is, if, if, like, if Germany hadn't gone Imperial Germany again, <laughs> would they have been alright? No, they would have declared war on me about the same time. Actually. Yeah, I know, but we would have, we would have expected it. It's true. Yeah, maybe we should play some play majors. <laughs> <laughs> Race B Estonia. I think uh, Austro-Hungary plus German Empire could be fun. That's, that's the classic. Mm. Didn't Have I take Anthony no ideas? Unfortunately, not Santos. There's no no milk. <laughs> <laughs> Rip. And you're not oh. a major. <laughs> oh, I'm not a major. Yes, I've ripped for me as well. Observe. They full Alex me. They full Alex both of us, the bastards. Yeah, I know. They, oh wow, look at the sexy borders they gave Austria Hungary. Mmm. Okay, I mean, like it's kind of a bit flat. Italy is a little bit bulbous, right, but those—they're not flat. It's, it's historical. I mean, obviously, they we need could some do. We could do that. like something silly, like. Germany and Soviet Union, and then like buff everyone else to oblivion. Yeah, that could be fun. The, Ber the Berlin Moscow axis, the cursed, the cursed uh, boy <laughs> run. We could do that. Lithuania is the true winner. They still have Memel. Yeah, we saved Memel from the Germans. <laughs> the way the air works, they'll probably never ever declare war in Lithuania. Single, single Soviet state surrounded by the German Empire. Like that's, that's the like I'm in danger meme. <laughs> Except that, of course, because they've already done their focus that gets them toward them. I think they will never, ever go toward them again. True, yeah, we, yeah. we could do a German, yeah, the Unholy Alliance with max buffed enemies. Let's, uh, let's take a look here at what the... Uh... Shotgun Germany. Yeah, sure. I don't, I, don't, I don't want to deal with that Soviet tree. <laughs> it's a monster. It is a bit of a beast. I think we probably wouldn't play on elite because elite just makes no. you hurt. But I don't, like, we... I don't like playing on elite. I like I like buffing opponents. I don't like nerfing myself. It just feels feels wrong. So how can we how can we engineer a situation where most people go against us? Well, we'd be picking an ideology and then uh, make everyone make make the other majors go the other way. I guess. So I guess we should try and do fascist fascist makes Soviet sense. Union. Yeah. Is that, that, that that's like um that's like bring back the czar, isn't it? Is that yeah. is that is that fascist? Yeah, or is that so. non line path? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. So then Japan would be, I guess, neutrality because that leaves them without a civil war, so they're still powerful to oppose us. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Italy would go fascist alternative, which means they try and go with Spain. Yep. France would go, I suppose, just default. Yeah, democratic historical seems good. We don't need to worry about the miners so much. Uh, Britain goes historical because that ends up against us. United States goes historical because that ends up against us. Yeah, all right, save. This is the Unholy Alliance. This will be fun. Abraxas, hello, you've migrated. Good name still. Outrageous. Show obsolete branches in focus tree. Certain obsolete branches should be hidden under the appropriate circumstances for EV navigation of the focus tree. I wish they would, um, or rather, I hope they will backdate that because it applies to the new trees, but not the old ones at the moment, I think. All right. The Unholy Alliance. 
Let's see. Yeah, let the game. I just crashed the game back. <sighs> Should change the stream title. We're not doing this now. This is just the next one we're gonna do. Oh, we're not. No, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to bed. Bed. It's, it's twelve out of midnight. I was knackered yeah? today. I fell asleep at five thirty. <laughs> <sighs> Just drink coffee, five head. No, I've had a. I agree. I've had a caffeine addiction. It's not fun. If you wake up in the morning, yeah, chat, and you have a cup of coffee, otherwise you feel crap. You are chronically undersleeping, and it's a health risk, and you should stop doing it. Promise and on that note, thank you, you very much for watching, everybody. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video.